And now to a News Nation exclusive human smuggling along the southern border once again on the rise. And it's apparently being done even by people who swore an oath to protect and defend the homeland. A state National Guard soldier deployed under Operation Lone Star caught on dash cam video trying to evade authorities accused of trying to smuggle migrants into the U.S. Correspondent Ali Bradley joins us live. So, Ali, I'm curious, how was he caught? Yeah, so multiple agencies responded to this incident here, Kelly, where this Texas State Guard soldier who was deployed from the McAllen area down to Eagle Pass under Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star, he was busted on Sunday for attempting to transport an illegal immigrant further into the interior. So here's a look at that dash and body cam video that we were able to exclusively obtain here at News Nation of this incident, which happened on Highway 674 in Kinney County. That's a very um, hot spot for human smuggling, according to the sheriff. Now, this soldier reportedly approached a pop-up tactical checkpoint that was only operational for about two or three days. So he did not know that checkpoint was there. He turned around to avoid the search, and that's when a pursuit began. DPS picked up that pursuit, spiked the vehicle, eventually bringing it to a stop. Kinney County Sheriff's deputies arrived to assist with that arrest. You saw them pull that individual out of the vehicle uh, to conduct, obviously, a search on him and also on the government vehicle he was driving. Sources tell me he didn't have access to the license plate reader system or any other technology that would have aided him in his efforts out there. He's now facing multiple felonies, including human smuggling and evading arrest. And he was actually also armed, so that escalated the level of his infraction here. Take a listen to what the sheriff had to say. Well, I'm sure that there's some that are being recruited. I'm sure that there's some that are just sitting back and watching, thinking that they know more than anybody else. I know how to get around this situation. If I smuggle one or two, nobody's going to know. Maybe he's done it once or twice before. And then in this particular case, there was that checkpoint that was thrown up and that he didn't expect, and he panicked. Who knows? Now, Kelly, what we know here is sources say that he was offered between five and six thousand dollars to move this individual. That individual bailed from the vehicle, tried to abscond. Eventually, though, he gave himself up to authorities and was transported by Border Patrol. Kelly. Wow. Is this a common occurrence, Ali? People who are supposed to be helping actually contributing to the problem? Yeah, I wish we could say this never happens, right? But unfortunately, it does. Less than a year ago on the exact same road that this happened, which is likely why they popped up this tactical checkpoint, because as I mentioned, it is a hot spot for human smuggling. So take a look here at these two individuals. These two women, also National Guard soldiers, were arrested in June uh, for human smuggling as well. Now, while they were down there, one of them was from San Antonio, the other from Louisiana. They were not there on a border mission at the time of their arrest. Now, Kelly, of course, I've reached out to Texas DPS, who is currently investigating this situation with the soldier on Sunday. I've also reached out to Governor Greg Abbott's office, of course, because this gentleman was deployed under Operation Lone Star. But, Kelly, I have not heard back from either of those entities. All right. Well, with those comments, Allie Bradley, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.